back, Mo's Outdoors Adventures. So today uh, we're going to be doing some cooking on the grill. We're going to do some bullhead cleaning. Uh, went out bullhead fishing last night, caught, I don't know, maybe a half dozen or so. I'm going to show you how I clean bullheads in the second part of the video. We caught some bass over the past few weeks. We've saved some of the smaller ones and we're going to be cooking those. I've already had them scaled and gutted. I'm going to show you how I do those on the grill, so uh, stay tuned and make a quick video here. Okay, so the bass have been gutted and scaled, cleaned up, ready to go. I've already put them on the grill. I've got the pellet grill warming up. We're going to run this at 350 degrees. They're all smallmouth. That's smallmouth, that's smallmouth. That one is the back one right there. That was the uh, largemouth I caught last week. It was like a three-pounder, actually. Normally, I don't keep them that big, but... Uh, we're going to try one. I try to keep the smaller bass if we're going to be eating them. So these are basically the smallest ones we've caught recently. They're still a little frozen. Not quite frozen solid yet, but I had them in the freezer. The little one on bottom, the big ones on top where the heat's a little higher. Let's see if I can get two per section here. That should work pretty good there. Once the cooking gets a little farther along, I'm going to put butter inside them and baste them with butter. But uh, we're going to do a couple kinds of seasoning. First, I'm going to be using my Himalayan pink salt. I use that on pretty much everything. We're going to do salt and pepper on all these. good amount of salt it's not going to hurt it it's on the skin a lot of that seasoning is going to come off anyways so there's salt on one side got a little more of my uh, black pepper this is wild forage i picked it ground it and threw it in the container this stuff works pretty good tastes good pepper on there also. We got some uh, garlic powder. We'll sprinkle some garlic powder on. Get a good dose of garlic powder. my homemade seasoning I'm going to do on two of these. That's just a blend of a bunch of spices I like to put together. Two other ones we're going to use a little lemon pepper. the bass we're going to use a little bit of the old bay seasoning the big one the big bass we're going to do that I got a little lot in that other one that's fine not going to hurt it we're going to get a little oil coat these with a little bit of oil on the outside flip them and we're going to season the other side just the same okay got my little butter flavored oil and I have a gallon jug I use I just keep it in this We'll get the outside. It helps the seasoning stick. Gives it a good flavor too. We're gonna flip these. these with a little oil get on this side quick okay lemon pepper on these ones yep, get on top try to get underneath the bottoms there 
got the old bay up top. The homemade seasoning on these two. And we're going to do salt, black pepper, and garlic on all of them. There we go, we're going to close the lid up on this, let this cook for a while. While that's cooking, we're going to get the uh, bullheads clean. I'm going to show you how we do that. And I just looked out back and uh, one of our chickens got out. Get back in your pen. They're all running around fighting out there. We gotta get them back in now. See if I can get them in quick. Come on. Come on, chicken. Come on, chicken. Okay, I got the chicken back in. Now I gotta do the bullheads. Okay, we're gonna do these bullhead quick. Uh, bullhead, catfish, whatever. This works with all of them. These are smaller bullhead, this little stream we get them out of. Uh, they don't get much bigger than this, actually. Pretty much the average size you get them, but they taste real good. This is the size I like eating them. That little one we kept. Actually, both the real little ones uh, ended up swallowing the hook, so we just cap them. Easy way for bullheads. Take your knife, you run up under this back fin. Keep going right up till you hit that spine. Hit that spine on the back, and you go right down. Right till you hit the backbone. Break the backbone, put your thumb under. You can do this with your fingers or a pair of pliers. Grab right on, peel it. Wash this off, the fish is ready to eat. Same thing with the littler one. Slice right up from that back fin till you hit that front fin and right down to the spine. I'll go through and uh, cut all these real quick. And I'll flip my blayers over. If you're just doing a couple, I just do them with my fingers. If I got a lot to do, I like to use pliers because your thumb gets a little sore. Same thing, hit down the spine right at an angle. And for these, I'm just going to wash them off, toss them in a little seasoned flour, and we're going to fry them. That's all we do for bullhead, it's pretty much the way I eat them. Cut right up that spine. Okay, hit there. Close the knife. Pop that spine. Grab right on that spine with the pliers. One pull. Pop that out. That one's done. You just got to wash them off. Pop it, grab it, pull. Clean that out with your thumb. And if you're doing this with a catfish or a bigger bullhead, it's the same thing. You just got to pull a little harder. Sometimes you need to start the skin first. But this is pretty much the easiest way to do it. And I've never had an issue doing it this way.
Put it down in there. And didn't break that one, so you got to pop it. There we go. Get your thumb started. Boom. Pop the liver out of them. There we go. Those six bullheads. I did it in less than two, three minutes, and that's an easy way to clean them. So after these are uh, good to wash up, we're going to fry them. I'll show you what the bass look like when it's done, but uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, bullhead are all taken care of and washed. I've got some seasoned flour here. There's actually bullhead, rock bass, perch. Uh, what else do we have in here? I think there's some bluegill. We got a bunch of fish in here. I just got a bunch of seasoned flour. I do salt, which is the Himalayan sea salt or pink salt, whatever you want to call it. I use salt, pepper, garlic, paprika, and a little bit of basil. It's usually what I do on my fish batter like that. The bass, they're looking pretty good. Oh, they're cooked. is coming right out of there. Get these ones a little closer to the heat now. Put one way right over here. Got a hot spot on the grill right here where the burner comes. I took the plate out of here. So that a hot spot really gets a heat cranking in there, but I just like to keep that fish right on the edge of it. Close this down for a second. I gotta get some lemon juice to squeeze on them. We got some fresh off the tree lemon. Uh, I'll try to keep the seeds out of it when I uh, put this on the fish. Give a nice little mist over the top of it. Right down inside there. We'll hit these with a little more of this butter. It's just a liquid butter is basically all it is. Get right inside of there. Looks like he's thirsty. We'll give him a drink. Oh yeah. He was, he's thirsty. Down the gills. This one thirsty, yeah, that fish is thirsty. Big boy, he was thirsty. Most of that's gonna drip off, but that'll give it a little crust on the outside as it sears. So I got that grill set, it's at 390 now. I turned it up to 400, we're gonna let it finish. Okay, let's give a check on these fish. I just flipped them. They're looking pretty good here. I think they need a little drink of lemon. Oh yeah, that one is thirsty. Look at that. Look at him. He's got his mouth open. He is thirsty. Yep, he's drinking. Get a little juice on the outside. Make sure I don't get any lemon seeds in there. Okay, so there's the rest of the fish cooking. This is rock bass, walleye, bluegill, perch, and bullhead. These are what the bullhead look like after I fry them all up. Don't mind the dirty stove, I uh, spilled some oil. So this is what happens, I cook them up, they get nice and crisp. All seasoned. Got a little uh, sweet potato hash. Going off my carnivore diet for the night, gonna eat uh, some sweet potatoes for dinner tonight. That's bacon, smoked pork, a bunch of seasoning and onions, and sweet potatoes. And our bass are now completely cooked. Uh, threw some hot dogs on in case some of the, a couple of the kids don't want the fish, but uh, most of them eat fish, so. These ones have been degilled. Normally I degill them. My son was learning how to clean in the bass with the scaler, so he did not degill these. But that's how I do them. I usually just cut, leave the 
head intact, take the gills out, and they cook pretty quick then. And there's my platter full of uh, cooked bass, with small mouth and large mouth. All right, well, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned uh, a little bit. Like I said, that's how I do my bass. That's how I clean bullhead. And uh, if you guys have any more video ideas, send them to me in the comments. I'll uh, see what I can do. And uh, like, share, subscribe. Let's get this channel growing. Thanks a lot.